All right, listen up. This is combat. You can die in combat. Ah! If you don't want to die, you have to use aggro. This is you. This is your partner. These are enemies. You shoot at them, attract their attention, they're gonna shoot at you, not your partner. Let's say you both shoot at them. If your partner has a bigger gun, the enemy will shoot at him instead of you. This is called aggro. If your partner has all the aggro, you're basically invisible. You can sneak around enemies, do whatever you want. But if you have the aggro, it's like you're glowing red. You even have a field aggro meter. Now go out there and kick some ass! Take mine!
Okay, we finished. Where do we go next? Funny you should ask. One of the most important pieces of equipment any Army Ranger has in the field is her GPS. Why don't you take a look at yours and see if you can figure it out on your own? This thing is turning into a real shitstorm. They hired some hotshot mercenary named Philip Clyde to take down Mo Aleem instead of us. This guy's the best of the best, but he's a little unstable. So I want you two to meet him at the old Continental Hotel and make sure he actually takes out Mo Aleem like he's supposed to. Do it yourself if you have to. Shit looks the same to me. Stay close, man. Okay. 
I think he is. Bro, that was so badass. You wish you had skills like that. I'm Corporal Tyson Rios, and this is Private First Class Elliot Salem, Chalk 4, U.S. Army Rangers. Are you full of blood? What the fuck do you think? Bro, we're supposed to help you take out Colonel Mo Ali. First of all, I ain't your bro, bro. Second of all, you don't tell me to wait. I tell you what to do. And last, if you think I need your help with this or anything else, you are a moron. Now that we got that cleared up, why don't you just shut the fuck up and watch a real professional in action? You might learn a thing or two. All right, Professor. Why don't you start by teaching us where Moali is hiding? He's right here, inside the Continental Hotel. Why do you think I had you meet me here? This is not your country. This is our country. And this is how we say hello in our country. Back to back. Let's waste these guys. <laughs> <laughs>
here. We gotta get up on that balcony somehow. How are we gonna do that? I don't know, man. There's gotta be a way. Hey, maybe we can pull that balcony down to us with that chain. We could have been chilling and head around the other side of this building. We need to secure the marketplace so Dalton can land the chopper for extraction. We gotta talk to Dalton. This guy is such an asshole. I know. I tried to tell him before, but he wasn't having any of it. Man, that's what sucks about the army. We don't get to choose what missions we go on or who we work with. We just have to follow orders. Are you just now figuring this out? You two should use synchronous snipe to take out that gas tank. The blast will kill those guards. Oh yeah, we learned about that. Then take them out. And you're welcome for the little pointer.
is secured. You can proceed with extraction. Over. Got me that, Rios. I'm on my way. Be there in a second. Over and out. Murray. She'll be handling your missions. You remember Philip Clyde? Listen, I ain't working with that guy ever again. You won't have to. He reports directly to me. Does solo missions for me only. In his farewell address to the nation, President Eisenhower left America with a strong warning. Ernest Stockwell, CEO of Security and Strategy Corporation, says that warning was misguided, and our future depends on the private military. To fear the military-industrial complex is to fear progress. Look at the operation in Somalia. 35 U.S. soldiers dead, hundreds wounded. But not a single private contractor was injured in the operation. We outperformed the military and achieved our objectives flawlessly. Some critics will call this profiteering, but I call it progress. Real fast, so get ready. Tyson, are you listening to me? Yeah. Noon. I'll be there. Okay. Let's run through this one more time. You parachute to the mountaintop helipad, disabling any localized defenses. From here, you'll enter the cave complex at its highest point and work your way down. This used to be a launch site for Russia's M11 missiles. It's been abandoned for 15 years, until two years ago when Mohammed Al-Habib, a leading Al-Qaeda operative, found it. He's been working to make the missiles operational again. The M11 is an intermediate range ballistic missile. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is that they are never launched. First, you'll need to destroy any missiles in the upper region of the cave complex. Then go down to the lower regions, destroy any missiles there, and find Brian Hicks. He's one of ours, sent in to do the same job as you, but he failed. We believe he's still being held captive by Al-Habib. You need to bring him back alive. There's also a bonus if you take out Al-Habib. He's extremely dangerous and an expert killer, so be careful. Questions? No, sir. Good. And one more thing. Everything you see or do down there never happened. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir.